Hopefully it'll look familiar from uh, question three. So this is question three and all the numbers that are there. I just wrote them into here. So some of you are onto question three already and some of you are not. But I want to show you how powerful Excel can be and how much work it can save you. So just look up for a second. And once I teach you this trick, you can use it later on. Okay. Look up, look up, look up for me. Okay. Have a look here. So um, this is, whoops, it's not number of hours, it's um, scores or speeches. So I'm just going to say scores. So these are scores that are given to different um, students and what they get. So I think I'm missing a row. Let me put in one more. Uh, I've got a minimum score of one, then three, four, five. Are there any sixes? Do you see any sixes? No. I don't think so. Okay, seven, eight, nine, and then ten. Okay. Now, here's what I could do. I could manually go through and count how many ones are there, how many twos, and so on. Except um, I don't need to. I'm sitting in front of a computer that can do this for me. So pay close attention. And if you want to, you can go back to your spreadsheet and write this down for later so you can use it. Um, Excel and all spreadsheet things have functions to count things. So I'm going to write C-O-U-N-T. I'm going to count however many of a particular score there is. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I want to say count if inside this set of scores. So have a look at that one. Okay. I'm counting inside this range of scores that I've written down. I want to know which one of them has a score of one. Okay, so if you type in count if, it'll tell you this um, inside your spreadsheet. And when I press enter, it says two. Why does it say two? Because there's those two on the right hand side. Do you agree? Now I can do the same thing. I'm just going to modify this in a way that I can explain later if you like. Just like before, anytime you've got a formula, you can take that and you can apply it downwards. How many people have scored three? There's just that one right there. Right? When I go down to four, it's again counting for me. How many got five, and then seven, and then eight, and then nine, and then ten. Isn't that a lot easier than going through manually and going through to count? It's also a lot more accurate. Okay? Once I've got my X column and my frequency column, what do I do on this third column? Why is it called FX? I'm going to multiply across, right? So I'm going to say frequency multiplied by scores. And once I've got that copied, I can go all the way down. So I will show you again what that formula looks like. It's very, very handy. It, um, it is counting up here if these cells match a certain condition. Uh, in this case, the blue thing is, look at all those cells up there. That's where I want you to look, Excel. And then this one is, well, check if it's one. Or check if it's three. Or check if it's four. So it looks through all of them, and it cuts them up. And then it has these values for me. Okay? So I'll leave that formula there. If you're like, well, I can type that in now. You can use it. Um, or if you want to grab a picture of it, it's so super handy. Um, and you'll use it all the time in the real world when you're trying to actually count things up without wanting to physically count the last question.